Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. I am your host, Tanisha Burke. And if you are new to my channel, thank you for joining us and checking us out today. Our channel is all about entrepreneurship and helping people with their network marketing business. And if you are returning, welcome home. It's so good to see you. We have um, Miss Misha joining us and Miss Marcia joining us in studio. Hello, ladies. How are y'all doing today? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I am doing amazing. Now, tell me, where are you checking in from? What city and state? Houston, Texas. Houston. They do it big in Texas. <laughs> That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. And Miss Marcia, how are you? Where are you checking in from? Oh, wait, you're on mute. We can't hear you. I'm I'm doing well, thank you. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Ah, this, <laughs> this is New York, New York, the city's so nice. They named it twice. That's my home state. Welcome and Yay. thank you for joining us. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's go to the notes here. We got Prosperity Travels. That Miss Davina checking in from Detroit. Hey, Davina, so good to see you. So good to see you. We got Miss Chrissy Paul checking in from Mactown, Georgia. Thank you so much. We got Boss Lady. Hello, how are you? How are you? Hey, Bethany. Bethany checking in. And then we got Miss Erica. I got on Miss Erica this morning, y'all. I got on Miss Erica because I said, I need to see you in studio with me. And uh, she reminded me that she wasn't camera ready because she's in California, three hours behind. <laughs> I told mm -hmm. her, get up 30 minutes early so you could be in studio with me. But thanks for joining, Erica. Uh, for those of you that want to join us on studio, I did post the link in the chat. Let's see, who else? Hey, Robert. We got Robert checking in. Great afternoon, Robert. Good to see you. Good to see you. We got somebody on Facebook. Facebook, you got to put your name in there and give StreamYard permission to show your name because uh, all it says is Facebook user. But thank you for checking in. The link is in our team group. I posted it there. It's also in the messenger chat. It's also on my Facebook page. So thank you, thank you. We got someone checking in from Fort Worth, Texas. Hello, hello, hello. Erica's checking in from Sacramento, California. And then we had Denise, my girl Denise checking in from Rochester, New York. We got Cliff. Oh, hey, Cliff. Okay. Hey, Cliff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, hey, Bethany. How you doing? I love, see, Bethany, that's my girl. She's always joining me in studio. Bethany, how you doing in uh, Maryland today? What's going on? What's good? Uh, well, we're finally dry. It's been raining since Sunday. Get out. But yeah, since Sunday. <clears throat> More rain's coming, but for right now, the sun is out. So we're good. We're good for a few minutes. <laughs> we'll take it, right? We will take it. I love it. Exactly. I love it. We got Ms. Zara checking in from California, Eastvale, California. Hey, Kiana. Kiana's our Facebook user. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we got Coretta checking in from Georgia. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got Miss Davina joining us in studio. I have to travel all the time. It kicks me off, and I have to go and physically put the thing that your address in. Oh wow! Well, you're here, and that's all that matters. Yes. Looking gorgeous. Hey, ladies. I am fabulous. That's what I'm talking about. My birthday what? tomorrow. I, I, how can I complain? I'm 61 <laughs> tomorrow and I feel great. Oh my goodness. I love it. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Let's yeah. see. Travels by bird checking. Amber checking in from Iowa. Whoa. Hey, Amber. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Good to see you. Someone else on Facebook is checking in from Tennessee. Man, we got Alabama. Hey, Angie, checking in from Alabama. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, everybody, how you doing? 
I love it. Thanks for joining us. How are you today, Carolyn? You good? Okay. She said she working, but she good. I love it. I love it. And let's see who else we got. Hey, Michelle, we got Michelle Thompson. She's checking in from Troy, New York. I love it. People checking in from my home state. Guess what? My son is going on his eighth grade class trip. And they are going to New York City and to Washington, D.C. Wow. And guess what? My husband and I are going to be chaperones. And That's you know why funny. I feel, I know, right? You know why I'm feeling so excited and blessed by it? Because I remember, so my mom, you know, and my dad got divorced. So pretty much my mom was a single mom, um, you know, raising us. And my mom was a nurse. She worked two jobs. Um, she worked at the hospital. And then she worked private duty because that's where the money was. So if, if y'all, any nurses out there, you already know the money is in the private duty. And then you work at the hospital for the benefits. But um, she was always at work. And my mom, bless her heart, ne she missed my, my entire childhood. You know, she was never able to attend the PTA meetings. If I was in the school play, she was never able to go. You know, if I was singing in the choir, she could never go because she was always, always, always working. And I remember there being, um, so back then in New York, if there was a class trip, it was the Six Flags. <laughs> Anybody from New York know about them class trips? All, all The only place they took us was Six Flags, right? And that was the thing. And, you know, because my mom was struggling as a single mom, I was rarely able to go on these trips, rarely able to go. Um, I do remember one trip we went to Pennsylvania, Dutch something. And I do remember going on that, but you know, there was a lot of times I wasn't, Michelle said, I remember there was a lot of times I wasn't able to go. And so I am just so thankful and grateful that I decided to join the industry of network marketing because it allows me to put my son in a much better situation than I was. And so not only in this trip, let me say this trip was not cheap. Um, I, I don't remember how much it was. I'll look it up. But actually it was pretty good considering if I was to book the same trip for me and my family to go to all of these landmarks and stuff like that, of course, it would plus flights plus hotel. It would have cost a lot, a whole lot more um, than what we paid for. It. So I told my husband, I said, "Hey, we should go on this trip um, because it's just going to be a lot cheaper. It's a lot cheaper. So for each student to go, it was seventeen hundred dollars to go on this trip, and it's for uh, three nights and four days." New York, Washington, D.C., visiting all these museums, the 9-11, blah, 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 food or whatever. And so not only was I able to pay for my son to go on this trip, but also my husband and myself and we're chaperones. I can tell you now that would have not been able to happen if it wasn't for me being in the industry of network marketing. We just, there's no way. There's no way. And when I looked, this is, this is how blessed we are. When I looked at the itinerary that they sent me, there's only seven boys and eight girls going on this trip. That's the entire, is it just the eighth graders? I think it is. I think it's just the eighth graders. And so think about that. I don't know how many um, eighth grade students there are. A lot more than 15. But out of the whole eighth grade class, there's only 15 students who were able to afford to go on this trip. And I'm just so thankful and grateful that not just one of us can go as a chaperone, 
but both of us as parents can go. And so I want to hear from all of you who have made the decision to join the industry of network marketing. What are some things that you're thankful for that you're going to be able to do or provide for your family that growing up, you didn't have the resources. Your family didn't have the resources to make that happen for you. And you know what's so so weird for me? Kind of strange. At school, my they, they look at my son as the rich kid. And I'm like, we ain't rich. But they look at him as the rich kid. And that, that kind of blows me away. Um, because I remember growing up, there were some kids that I considered them to be the rich kids. Right? And especially in New York, if you had a pool... If you had a pool in your backyard living at Marcia, am I lying? If you have a pool in your backyard, you are considered rich if you live in New York. <laughs> Carolyn's like, yep, you are considered rich, okay? If both of your parents have a vehicle, uh, you, you, you well off, right? You are well off if both of your parents have a vehicle. You know, so it's little things like that. But let's talk about it. Um, what are some things that you all who have made a decision to join network marketing, what are some things that you're able to do now or in a better position to do now that you yourself and your family were not able to do when you were growing up? I want to talk about that. Ms. Davina, let's talk about it. I had a beautiful childhood. I had older parents. I had big brothers and sisters, but every summer we were gone. And that's awesome. Yeah. And when I came back, you know how the teacher would have you come in and tell your story for the summer? Yeah. First year, we always went to Chicago, my mom's people. Then we went to Mississippi. Then we went to Texas. My mom's people, Mississippi. In Texas, Marshall, Texas was my dad's people. And then he had a sister in uh, Pasadena, California. That's where we would end up last in California. And we stayed there the summer. And, oh my. Okay. What happened? So you were always able to go to those different states and visit families? Yes, every summer. I don't know what happened to the picture. It just blinked off. That's awesome. So what are some things that your business is allowing you to do? Be home. With, well, I've been home forever. But um, with my grandbabies, and they're so patient. I mean, they're sitting in there in the other room so quiet. <laughs> That's rare. And when they see the door shut, they say, okay, I don't have to go to the bathroom because they will not go without <laughs> Coming. <laughs> I love it. So being in network marketing puts you in a position to do more for your grandchildren. Yes, I can be here with them and take them on. I really can't wait to take them to Disneyland. Uh, of course. Of we course. Can, we can do that. But my kids my have been to Hawaii. I ain't never been to Hawaii. Nice. My daughter took nice. them to Hawaii. Nice. So that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Well, thank yes. you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Let's look at Denise. She said, I am thankful I was able to see my son play in his bowling sectionals on a Thursday as he was the only player from his team in school. That's awesome, Denise. That's awesome. You know what? That's a big deal. Notice what she said. She was able to go see him play. It was on a Thursday. Typically, when you have two parents or one parent and they're working, they can, if there's an event that's happening during the week, they can't take off of work to go. It would have to be something that's on a weekend, right? But when you have a home-based business where you have extra income coming in and that flexibility of having a home-based business, you can go to things during the week. 
And guess what? You could also work from anywhere at any time. So I, I understand what you're saying with that, Denise. You know, one of the things that I love to do, I love going to get my uh, my pedicure during the week. And I pick a weird day, like on a Tuesday at like 10 a.m., 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, right? Because other people are at work. And of course, you know, I got to take pictures of them doing a the massage and all of that, right? Because I want to show people that when you start a business, a network marketing business, you have flexibility. You have flexibility. So you don't have to go get your pedicure, ladies, on a Saturday when like every chair is full, right? You walk in and you're like, all right, how long is the wait? And they're like, oh, we can get you in in like 30, 35 minutes, right? No, you can go on a Tuesday. You could be there when they open the doors and be the first one in, right? These are the reasons why people start network marketing businesses. Um, it's it's the flexibility, right? Uh, let's see, Barbara. She said, as a child, we could only eat out on Fridays, my mom's payday. Now we can eat out any day we want to, as many times a day as we want to. It's, I love that, Barbara. I, I That just makes me smile because I remember growing up in New York, in Westchester County, and we used to go to, I'm trying to remember what city we used to go to. I think it, it might have been in White Plains. Anyway, they had this McDonald's that had the playroom. Y'all know what I'm talking about because all McDonald's don't have it, but it's the one with the playroom. And it has the, the little balls and stuff and the slide or whatever. And I used to love when my mom would take me down that in that area and we used to go to the mcdonald's and she used to get me my little happy you wouldn't catch me eating mcdonald's now that crap food yep i said it youtube whatever <laughs> but you would not catch me eating it now but back then i'd love a good happy meal and then my mom would let me go play in the mcdonald's playroom but that was always a special time for us because barbara just like you we couldn't afford to go to McDonald's all the time. And, and we used to, my mom used to call it mommy daughter days. So I used to look forward to our mommy daughter days where we get to go to, you know, certain stores. We didn't always buy stuff, but just to be able to go and, and just dream and window shop was fun for me. And then we always would end the day with McDonald's. And I'll always cherish those times. And, you know, Sometimes now, again, going back to why I'm so thankful and grateful that I said yes to the industry of network marketing and starting a home-based business is because it doesn't put any restrictions on when you can eat out. It puts you in a position when you can you know, eat out. Sometimes I'll get a text message from my son. He's on, his, on the bus on the way home, right? He's not even home yet. And he texts me and he says, Ma, could we go to Chick-fil-A? <laughs> right? And I'm like, okay, you know. If I say no, it's because I don't have the money. It's because I'm on a Zoom or I have an appointment. But it's so it's such a blessing to be able to say, yes, we can go to Chick-fil-A when you get off the bus and not have to worry about, OK, do I have enough money to go to Chick-fil-A? Why? Because I have a home based business that generates multiple streams of income. And it doesn't matter if he sends me that text on a Monday. I don't have to wait until Friday or a payday to do that. Again, these are the reasons why we start network marketing businesses. Denise says, same for my childhood. I traveled to Rockingham, North Carolina, New Orleans, and Vegas multiple times. And I want to share travel memories with him. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great, great afternoon. Great afternoon. Let's see. Hey, Tamisha. She says, I didn't have the opportunity to travel as much because my family couldn't afford it. However, I was able to take my boys on their first cruise last year. And now they ask if we're going to Mexico ever. I love it. I love it. And you know what, Tisha? The thing that I love about being able to travel with our children is they will remember that forever. They will, right? They will remember that forever. I promise you, your kids can't tell you what you got them for Christmas last year because <laughs> they probably broke it 
<laughs> already, right? Or they can't find it. It's under the bed somewhere. Here's a piece here, a piece there. They don't remember those physical things, right? But man, when you take, when you travel with your kids, they will remember that forever. And that is priceless. And I always, one of the things I always promote on my social media around the holidays is skip the gift, book the trip. Skip the gift, book the trip. You don't even need to put a tree up. Just don't even plan to be home for Christmas. Just book a trip. I think it's probably, it might be cheaper, to be honest with you, right? You don't have to worry about waiting in line with the stores and all that other crazy stuff, right? And and you get to plan it out ahead of time. Absolutely. I think, I think the holidays should be spent with family creating memories, not necessarily at home under the tree. Like, let's, it's 2024. Let's do something different. Let's create memories, right? Go, even if it's just, okay, we're going to rent a vacation house somewhere and the family's going to all get together there. Just the change of scenery, I think is just awesome. I don't plan to be home this Christmas. I'm already working on that. I'm like, mm-hmm. matter of fact, last year, Misha, last year, I didn't even put up a tree. Um, Actually, this year, uh, my plan, like a, we're getting like a 15 room cabin and going to Tennessee, the whole family for um I love it. I, I said no, nobody do anything anyway, so we might as well. <laughs> I love it. it. Come on. I love it. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. I know on my on my dad's side for their family reunion, um, they did Tennessee. I didn't go to that one, but yeah, they did the whole rent a cabin and stuff like that. So I don't know. Maybe next time I'll do that. Next time I'll do that. But yeah, the kids would love that. Mm -hmm. I also had the opportunity to stay at home and be more active with my kids without being drained. You know what? I'm so glad you brought that up too. That is definitely another benefit um, of having a home-based business and network marketing is that time freedom to be home, right? That was one of the reasons I started my business. I wanted to be home when my son got off the school bus. I don't want there to be that, you know, that lack of time where, he gets off the bus and he's by himself until I could get home, right? I remember having to rush home because I didn't want him to be home by himself for too long, Um, especially if you live in an area and you don't have any support, right? And it's just you. (laughs) Then it's like, okay, they get off the bus at a certain... Or you're paying for aftercare, which is expensive, right? So it's either you're paying for aftercare or the kids have to be by themselves until you get home, which anything could happen. But what you said without being drained. So it's not that you were at work, stressed out, rushing home, and now now your children are not getting the best of you because you're so stressed out and drained. When you have a home-based business and you can be at home, it there's no stress, right? You 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 wake up, you know, you got your schedule, you get to control your schedule right? This morning, I shouldn't have because I'm intermittent fasting. I was not supposed to eat or drink before 1 p.m., but I wanted some coffee. You can just wake up and you're like, I got I, today is a cup of coffee day. I need to have a cup of coffee. That was my day today. And so I had my cup of coffee and my day is just going casual and I get to control it. And I think it's just such a wonderful, wonderful thing. And my internet is acting crazy. Hopefully I don't lose y'all. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We had this happen the other day too. All right, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, Shamika said, I traveled mostly with my grandparents and father, but as a mother, I want to travel more with my kids. I became a Disney specialist and will now be saving thousands on our Disney World and Disneyland trips. I love that. Yep. If you have a network marketing business in the industry of travel, it really opens the door for you to elevate your lifestyle and create memories while traveling. So that was smart, Shamika. That was smart. All right, let's see. Facebook user. I had a great childhood and we did a lot during my childhood until I moved on my own at 21. Oh yeah, when you move on your own, we call that adulting. 
<laughs> you started adulting. You can't do the things you like you were able to do when you were living at home when you start adulting. Travel by car was the way we traveled and it was a great family bonding time. Yes, I remember those road trips. New York, Florida, Delaware, Canada, and of course, Martha's Vineyard in New Hampshire. I've never been to Martha's Vineyard. I want to go to the Inkwell. Y'all remember that movie, The Inkwell? Once I saw that movie, I'm like, I need to go to the Inkwell. If you never heard it, y'all go watch the movie. The Ink Well is where the bougie black people go at Martha's Vineyard. I want to go to the Ink Well. And I hope it's just as nice and cozy and all of that as it was in the movie. But yeah, I want to go to the Ink Well. Anyway, in turn, we did the same for my children and I'm now doing it for our grandson. Aw, that's nice. I'm working towards the business allowing me more time freedom and working FTE remotely is challenging personally and professionally. You know what? Just keep working your business. Just stay consistent in your business. And eventually, if you are consistent in your business, the money from your business will exceed what you're bringing in from your job. And then slowly, you'll be able to get out of your job. You might go from full-time at your job to part-time. And then from part-time to I'm quitting. <laughs> See ya. Deuces, right? Just stay consistent with it. That's all you got to do. Erica Underwood, she said, I just had twins. I just had to quit my nine to five. It didn't fit my lifestyle. What? Well, first of all, Erica, congratulations on your twins. That's awesome. I wish I, wish I would have had twins. I so do. Because see, I was, I was 38 when God finally got me pregnant, allowed me to get pregnant. And I told my husband, I ain't going to be 40 and pregnant. So it'd be nice if we can kick out these twins at 38. That could be done because I'm not trying to be 40 and pregnant. And But it didn't happen. He blessed me with my son. And I'm like, oh, well, I guess we just got one. And my husband really, really wanted a second child. I'm like, no, but we can get a dog. <laughs> Jay's got a sister named Skylar. <laughs> right, Skylar? Where you at? All right, she left. But yeah, so that's awesome. All right, so Erica, you got to work your business. Work your business and um, this way you can stay home and be comfortable. But congratulations on your twins. Are they twin boys, twin girls? What are their names? That is just so awesome. I think twins are just awesome. Hey, Lynette. Yeah, I don't know why your name's not coming up either. Okay, but now I know. And you're newly married? Okay. Okay, and okay, hubby's in the business too. That's awesome. Well, congrats. You just got a whole new family thing going on. New man, new husband, new twins. I mean, wow, how exciting is that? That is fantastic. Yes, Lorenz Tate. Y'all, y'all go watch Inkwell. Once you go watch the movie Inkwell, you're gonna want to go uh to Martha's Vineyard and check it out. I just want to go to be able to say, oh yeah, I've been there. That, that's the only reason I want to go. <laughs> Massachusetts, so we live at okay, MV in New Hampshire. I visited New Hampshire. I, I remember when I was working in corporate America, I had to do a training in New Hampshire. I couldn't get past their accents. The accents in New Hampshire is just crazy. And I remember this one guy uh, he called, he kept calling me a city slicker because <laughs> I was from New York. He's like, he's, I can't even, I can't even imitate the accent they have in New Hampshire, but yeah, he kept calling me a city slicker. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I will never forget that. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, okay. Amber says we didn't travel as I was a kid. There was one spring break road trip to Florida. I was so mad we didn't see any alligators or the beach. Wait a minute. Remember y'all came to Florida and didn't see alligators or the beach. That's not, that's not a complete trip to Florida. That could have been a two for two easily. Well, I guess depending on the time of the year. I mean, I see alligators just driving out of my neighborhood to get, <laughs> to get out of the neighborhood. Several Aw, 
So we're making sure my daughter gets a different life. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I know anytime you bring your daughter to Florida, you got to make sure she sees the gators and the beach, right? And the pool and Mickey and Minnie, right? There's just so much, right? You're going to go to Universal and see the minions. I mean, there's just so much. Speaking of Universal, I love, I'd much rather go. We're my Universal people as opposed to Disney. I want y'all to type in the comments. If, you, if you're a Florida traveler person, do you prefer Disney parks or Universal? You could only pick one. Don't pick both. Which one do you prefer when you come to Florida? I love Universal. I can do Universal every day. And you know, one of the things I absolutely love about Universal, and I hope they never take it away, but they probably will because, you know, they're always changing stuff. I remember the last time I went to Universal, they had Bumblebee from the Transformers. Y'all, listen, that's my man. Y'all don't say nothing bad about Bumblebee. I love Bumblebee from the Transformers. And they had some music on and he was doing his little dance. I love Bumblebee. I love Bumblebee. But yeah, Universal is Universal is on point. So if any of you are watching this from another state and you are planning to come to Florida for either spring break or summer break, come to Universal. Don't do Disney. Hey, you can do Disney anytime. I mean, you can do Universal anytime, but I promise you, you will have so much more fun at Universal Studios than you probably would at Disney. That's just my personal opinion from someone who lives here now. Not that I was born here, but from someone who lives here, Universal is way better for me than Disney. Disney's just, nah. Oh, she got, okay, so Erica has, identical boys, Isaiah, I hope I'm saying, pronouncing that right, and Elijah. Oh, I love that. That's so awesome. It's our New England accent. Yes, my family is from Brooklyn and Long Island and moved to Massachusetts. I could not go from a cold climate to an even colder climate. That's just nuts. <laughs> How do you like living in Massachusetts? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yep, she gets it all. I'm sure. I'm sure. Chrissy said Universal. Yep. See, Universal, I'm telling you. But Disney, you got listen, you got to go to Disney at least once in your life. At least once you have to go and experience Disney just to check the box. Yep. Did that, been there, but yeah, Universal is much better for um, adults. Now, I do like the water parks. I'm all about, I'd much rather go to a water park and go on all those rides and then the wave pool and stuff like that. But to be waiting in line to get on a, a ride that is a circle going in a circle, like I just can't do it anymore. And you know what? I used to be, I, when it came to amusement park, I just wanted to go on the roller coasters, like skip everything else, give me the map, Show me where all the roller coasters are. That's what I'm getting on. And that's it. Now, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't even. And it's sad. I feel like I cannot do the roller coasters anymore. The last time my husband and I, we went and we took Jace to, I don't know which park we were at. It might have been a Disney park. And we got on this ride, y'all. I don't know what it's called, but the bars came down over us like this. And then your feet and everything are just dangling. So you're going up and around and they're spinning. I'm holding on for dear life. Number one, I had a wig on and a hat. So imagine trying to hold this sucker down so it don't pop up, even though it was locked in, but then trying to make sure your hat and your wig don't go flying up. Not a good look, ladies. If you're going to the parks and you're going on these rides, don't wear a wig. Get your weave done. But don't do the wig. It, it, it's not a good look. And you also tend to see uh, extensions and stuff all on the ground from other people losing. It, it's so tacky and nasty. I'm just. <laughs> but yeah, I had this wig hat on and I was trying to make sure that my hat didn't blow off because, you know, I'm going upside down. But I, now I'm, I'm a thick girl. 
But even though the bar came down, it was like a U-shaped bar, right? And it came down over me. When I went upside down, I promise you, I literally felt like I could, could have fallen out of it. That's how much space it felt like. And I was just, I was having a talk with the Lord. Lord Jesus, please don't let me fall out of this ride. And I promise you, I'm never getting on this thing again. Please don't let me lose my wig and my hat. And please don't let me fall out of this ride. And I said, never again am I doing it. And so, yeah, I think I'm done with the amusement parks. I'm going to be one of those old people now where you go in, you go to the park with the family and, you know, the adults just kind of stay on the side waiting for you at the exit. That's going to be me. Because unless it's a water ride, I'm not interested anymore. I'm not interested. I, I just can't do it. I think I, You know what it is? It, I just had an aha moment. I know why I don't want to get on these scary, death-defying rides anymore. I got too much to lose. That's what it is. When you're a kid, you ain't got nothing to lose. You're just like, I might lose my life, but it's all right. But when you're an adult and you have accomplished some things in your life, you're like, I don't I have stuff to lose. I got too much to lose. Now. I'm just not trying to do it. This is just me, y'all. This is just me. Look at all my universal people. Oh, you saw Bumblebee too, Amber? I love Bumblebee. I love, I mean, I get excited when he's on. Okay, so Shamika said, I went to Universal Studios in the sixth grade and I still remember the whole trip and experience. That's what I'm saying. These kids, they don't, I know Chrissy, you laughing at me when I said I didn't want to lose my wig and my hat, right? <laughs> Yeah, kids will remember the experience. They're not going to remember any of the toys and stuff you buy them. Erica said, I traveled all my life. Father, retired army. Oh, yeah. So I know you saw the world. And I want to show my daughter for and my husband and babies places I've been and make memories and have fun. That's awesome. That's all. Yeah, I'm always telling my husband that I'm going to show him the world. Yep. Martina said, I like Universal. Disney is overrated. I agree. But it is like we all said, Disney is. One of those places you definitely want to go one time and ex get the whole Disney experience and, and yeah, have the overpriced food and wait in the long lines and, and feel like you're going to pass out from the heat. Yeah, all of that. You got to experience it at least once. <laughs> Universal Studios and overdue to return. Yep, go back, go back. I said I'm spoiled. Am I? I don't know if I'm. I don't know, Robert. Would y'all say that I was spoiled? Anybody think I'm spoiled? I don't think I'm spoiled. I've become more bougie, <laughs> but I don't think that I'm spoiled. I don't think I, Lanice, you think I'm spoiled? You think I'm bougie? I think you have a little requirements now. I have what? Different requirements now. That's all. Different preferences and requirements. I, I'm gonna use that. I have different requirements. Yes. I love that. I love that. Yes, I have different Robert. I'm not spoiled. I have different requirements. That. <laughs> and standards. Uh, hold on. Oh, we lost Tanisha. <laughs> I said we lost her. Then she came back. Then she blinked off again. 
Oh boy. <laughs> this happened the other day and she came back on in a second. Yeah. I know she had some um some Wi-Fi issues the other day also. So mm -hmm. Well, then it's just us, and I, I can't see a chat, so. <laughs> I can't see a chat either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, going back to her question about, um, you know, what she would do differently now that she were network marketing, and for me, my family, it was five of us growing up, it was five siblings, well, me and four siblings, and only my father worked, my mom's chose to stay home with us because she wanted to make sure that we were taken yeah. care of and you know all the kind of stuff she wanted a paper daycare all the kind of stuff and so we were only able to travel in the summertime and go to my parents house my, my dad's family's house in pittsburgh that was our only family trip that's it and so when she was having mcdonald's and stuff that was a special treat that was us as well like we didn't get anything extra we didn't do anything extra we didn't go anywhere <laughs> anywhere extra yeah. it was it's pittsburgh and that's and that's it now I don't have a family of my own, but I can imagine that if my mom oh, knew dude. about network marketing back when she had us as young kids, mm -hmm. that she probably would have done that. It would have been extra money for her in a home. Well, she did yeah. she did Avon, but not really the marketing side, just kind of selling it. Right. Um, but she probably would have done this this kind of a, a business because she knew it could bring money in the home for, for her, for us, and still be home as well. So mm -hmm. and I, I kind of wish that she knew about this back then, or at least, you know, would have had some inf more information about it. And, and, but you know, he life is life, and so. But I was grateful that she was actually able to stay home with us at the same time and make sure we were all taken care of too. Yeah, I love that. That's how yeah. I feel. I don't think that my mother knew about marketing. She knew mm -hmm. about sales. You know, she right. knew how to, because um, we always had like something at the house where, like, there was a uh, perfume or pick mm -hmm. or, like things but i don't think she knew about the marketing part and the marketing right. part would have helped a lot my my mother stayed home too but we we traveled a lot as uh small children but we always drove it was always mm -hmm. school trips mm -hmm. um, right and we would always drive to florida which is why i don't have a problem driving from chicago to florida anytime <laughs> <laughs> because we went to florida almost every year just because mm -hmm. um but um, I didn't, I didn't get on my first flight till I was 18. And then by that time, you know, that was like the last flight that they paid for, um, between mm. me and my sister. So, um, I, I totally agree with you. Like knowing the marketing aspect of the network marketing would make, makes a huge difference. You know, when you only know the product, um, it limits you as far as how much you can earn. But when you know the marketing component that, um, that changes things drastically. Hey, Tanisha. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get off of one and back on in the other. Y'all keep talking. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. At least my, my mom was the same way too. She didn't know the marketing side either. She just did the just the, the product. So she did Avon and Tupperware, or whatever, but um she was, a, she was very involved with the kids, you know, with us growing up and it was into everything. The Girl Scout was leader, the, you know, the um, the PTA people, I mean, all that stuff. But yeah. I really think if she knew about some ways, she could make some money to bring in the home as well. Mm. We had one car, um, you know, she would be always had dinner together, together, all the stuff, you know, just, just real family time, but just not right. anything extra was there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. No. I'm glad we're having this conversation and, and you ladies are sharing this because we're in the end did i just get kicked out again we see you, uh, no, we see you. We see. Okay. all right my screen is doing weird stuff um this is the type of conversation that you should be having with your prospects remember i'm always talking about you should be having the i can change your life conversation with them right mm -hmm. to get them to partner with you these are the types of things that the type of conversations you want to have with your prospects is, you know, hey, you know, I wish my mom would have had the opportunity to, you know, get in the industry of network marketing because there would have been so much more that she would have been able to provide for us. And she wouldn't have not even just provide for us. She wouldn't have had the struggle. I remember just my mom working two jobs, constantly working, 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 working and never having enough time for herself. And so now we have an opportunity for the next generation to not have to be in that situation. And you know what's so funny? So I have a friend and I was just talking to her last night. 
I've tried to get her in the business. She's a teacher in New York and she works with special needs children. She's super, super smart, got her degrees, you know, and, and you know, she's making good money, right? Where she's at. And she works summer school in the summer. Mm-hmm. Now I want y'all to tell, tell me if this is just me, but it bothers me because this is my friend. It bothers me that you want, there's not a whole lot aside from you're being able to help kids. There's not a whole lot about being a teacher that's great, <laughs> right? <laughs> you're underpaid. You got to deal with these sometimes these unruly kids and their unruly parents and the mm-hmm. politics that goes on with the administration and all of that, right? So to me, just from the outside looking in, one of the best parts of being an educator is having summers off. And when she's checked with me that she's working summer school, I'm like, why? Why? That should be your time to really start living your best life. Not working 12 months a year when you can have at least two months off. I just, I didn't understand that. And part of it is her wanting to add more money into her retirement. She's like, well, I still get, you know, two weeks off because summer school ends then. But I'm like, two weeks ain't nothing. Mm. Right. It's not. And so one of the things that I encourage her to do, right, one of the things I encourage her to do is outside of being an employee. Because all she knows is work, 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 work. And so if she's not working, it's like she doesn't know who she is, what she likes to do. There's a lot there. She didn't know anything different because this is her life. But me knowing that there's more to life than just working, paying bills until you die, I'm feeling kind of sad for her because I'm like, you don't know what it's like to not just to be just an employee. Like you don't have any hobbies, you know, your friend circle is super, super small because you're always working because you don't get out a lot, you know? So these are things that I would definitely encourage you to to speak with people about. Um, I'm trying to get her to see that there's more to life than just working, 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 working. That's just, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I kind of do get it because that was me before I got into the industry of network marketing. You don't know what you don't know. So she's literally in that position of not knowing because she doesn't know, right? Yep, the goal is to move the business and travel more. Absolutely. Yep, there go my water park people. Speaking of water, speaking of water, Hey, Constance. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep. Walk around, eat, and shop. Me and you, Martina. (laughs) Universal is cool. I still remember the trip with my cousin, Twister. Maybe that's what I was on. I might have been at Universal. I I can't remember. I don't know. Yep. I like what I like. High standard is not spoiled, especially if you work for it. I agree. I agree. All right. Last but not least, we got in on time. We got eight minutes because we always going over, but I'm going to be real good. We ain't going to go over today. I have put out the 2025 Lifestyle by Tanisha on the Seas. Lifestyle by Tanisha on the seas. I am so excited for this. So let me give you the dates. Y'all write these dates down, mark it down, mark it down. April 27th through May 5th. April 27th through May 5th. We are sailing out of the port of Tampa Bay. April 27th 
we are going to the Florida Keys and to Cozumel, Mexico. So we are going to have five nights, five nights. I have balcony cabins. I have ocean cabins. And for some people that I don't know, some weird people who may want an inside cabin, I blocked a couple of those off for you too. Uh, the prices are based on double occupancy. So you need to have a roommate in the room. And to hold your cabin is just a $100 deposit. And you must make your deposit by July 1st. So you have until July 1st to uh, block your cabin. I am so excited about this. I am so, so excited about this. And I made it so by putting it off to the end of April, literally, if you do the payment plan and you pay on it monthly, it's less than $100 a month. I think it came out to like 70 something dollars a month to be able to and that's for the most expensive cabin, the balcony. Cabin. Is that one hundred like per person? No, per cabin for the cabin. So whoever put hundred dollars okay. down, that locks in the cabin. But yeah, cabin is okay. locked in. Um, or if you have your roommate already, then you know both of y'all put the hundred down. It's just gonna off of the total price anyway. So it's not like you're losing anything, um, but it's a hundred to block the cabin. And I did it that way instead of the 50 in case someone doesn't know who their roommate yet, they can at least have the cop cabin blocked and then they can find their roommate later. Um, I'm just super, super excited about it. It's a brand new ship. The ship hasn't even hit the ocean yet. It's not going to, the inaugural sailing is not going to happen until June. So this is brand, it's going to have that new ship <laughs> when we get on it, um, I'm going to be going on it in July. So I will be able to have lots of videos and pictures about it. I'm sailing on it and uh, I'll be on there for the July 4th weekend. So I'm excited about that as well. Um, everybody should have their passports. If you don't have a passport, you have plenty of time. Do not wait until the last minute. But go ahead, if you don't have a passport, go ahead and get your passport. All right, Shamika said, I have my passport. She's ready. She's ready. Uh, Lynette, let's platinum group. Um, I sit there and I will send you the link. I will send you the link. Actually, let me see if I can see. The only reason I don't know if I'm here. Because my internet is acting funny. If anybody has the link, go ahead and post it. If not, you could private message me. Uh, I will send you the link. But I will do my best. I'm real shady right now. And I think the next time I do coffee break, I'm going to do it from my laptop because I don't know why she's freezing up on me. But yeah. So looking forward to it. Um, my goal is to at some point sell the whole ship out. It's not a huge ship. It's only like a thousand, a thousand cabins. Um, let me do this. I like that it's not just one of those big 20-story ships. <laughs> yeah, I like ships. I got to walk the green mile to go from my room to the food. <laughs> or to... Wait a minute. I, don't, I don't like that. So this isn't like an overly, oh, it's the biggest ship in the world. No, I don't want to be on the biggest ship in the world. That's go on those cruises, right? Uh, okay, Lynette says she found I also just posted the Travel Joy link in the chat. Um, so it's showing on YouTube and Facebook as well. So if you are in and uh, joining us for Lifestyle by Tanisha on the Seas, please go ahead and block your cabin. Block your cabin now. Like I said, if you start now, it's literally less than $100 a month in payments. Um, so I made it affordable so that you can even bring your family. Maybe you want to get 
cabins and you, you know, you come with your spouse, your kids. It's right around spring break time. That's the other thing. It's right around spring break time. So, um, and guess what? I was so excited about this partic particular itinerary. You know why? We will be celebrating my birthday on this cruise because my birthday is on April 29th. So we will actually be on the cruise for my birthday. So I'm probably going to, we're probably going to have some type of um, on the 29th, but it's, I'm just excited. I, I'm excited about all of us being together, fellowshipping and actually having fun. We're going to have fun. A lot of times when we do these business events, you know, we got the business stuff. We got, that ain't going to be what this is. We having fun. All right. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, so I'm still looking for some fun down from our last conversation of different things doing, you know, having a, uh, you know, t-shirts or we got plenty of time, but it's going to be amazing. I'm looking to sailing with everybody, having fun, meeting your family members. If you're bringing your family, we're going to have a great, great time. And it's something that I'm looking to do annually. So this is going to be deposit ready to go all right so let's just do it let's do it one of the places i want to go is belize that's on their thing belize so that's probably going to be a longer one. the belize one i think had to be a six nighter and i was like uh let's stick with the five for right now yep exactly chrissy it's gonna be the family reunion sing it with me y'all the family reunion all right, I can't sing. <laughs> Michelle said April 29th is my husband and my aunt. Oh, awesome. So Michelle, bring your hubby so y'all can celebrate on the cruise. That's nice. This queen was born in April. Yeah, see, I'm gonna wear this on the cruise. Well, we're gonna have an amazing time. Anyway, that concludes virtual coffee break for today. Hey, remember, no virtual coffee break next week because I will be on the eighth grade class trip chaperoning to New York and DC. So I won't see you guys until the following week. Remember that. Remember that. Um, yep. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Ah, Martina. And you should bring your niece on a cruise. <laughs> Literally. Cruise. We're sailing on her birthday. So that would be a nice, nice birthday gift for her. I have boss lace at my mom's in April. That's what I'm saying. It's a perfect time. So, you know, if you guys are celebrating anything, go ahead and get your family to come. You know, and we can all have a great time together. All right. Love you all. See you in two weeks. Have a great one.